All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina Kay. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are back at home, back from Miami. It was an incredible trip and I hope you guys really enjoyed all the content. If you'd like to see us go back to Miami more frequently, let me know in the comment section below. Today is gonna be a really fun video. Uh, we're back to a classic Campisi style vlog. We're heading over to Benjamin Button's Rock Hard Auto Center and we're gonna be installing more carbon on our Lamborghini wide body Lamborghini Urus. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, first things first, grab the key for this bad boy. I don't know if I've showed you guys our key drawer lately. Got the Audi R8 key, our C8 Corvette, which should be a Z06, but God only knows where that car is or when that's gonna come. We still have our GTR Pro, although I've been thinking about possibly trading that in, maybe for like an 812 Superfast or something like that. It's a little more drivable. Got our Lamborghini, which is what we're gonna be taking today. I have my Lamborghini Ducati Diablo. And then those are extra keys back there. And I will have another bike coming. We don't have the uh, bike keys in here. The uh, bikes are still on their way back from Miami. So the Carbon M1000RR we will be giving away uh, this month in the month of March. And then I have the new uh, Ducati Panigale, which is gonna go full on Lamborghini. And I have my Lamborghini Street Fighter coming later this year. So that's basically what's going on in the car world, car and bike world, I should say. Holy God, that's bright. All right, let's give you a cold start of our Lamborghini Urus. This does have fab speed downpipes and tune. It's making over 700 horsepower. Let's hear how she sounds. It's so loud. Our cars are so dirty. Listen to that thing. So we do have a carbon wide body kit on this car from uh, Nero, well it's Urban Automotive now, and uh, we have a custom wrap, matte black wrap, we have our windows tinted, and today we're going to be added another piece of carbon fiber and I'll show you guys what that is when we get over to West Shore Auto Center. First thing I always do when I get in the Urus is turn the heated seats on because it's freaking freezing outside, and there's a button over here on the left hand side, if I press that button, check it out, is it going to show it? Oh shoot, hold on. It's the massage, massaging seats button. There you go. We have different types of ones. I'm gonna do relaxing since we just woke up. Press that, get it out of here. Now I got my ass being heated and my seats being massaged. Arse, your arse. arse. Oh yeah, no swearing on YouTube no swearing. anymore. <laughs> Cut. Also, we still do have the popcorn maker, in case you were wondering. This is how it sounds, oh shit. up in the RPMs it doesn't pop. It's only when you're just kind of like going slowly that it does it. Like watch as it calms down here, should get some pops. Um, we're also thinking about going to F1 in Miami in, is that in May? So. In May. So let us know if you guys want to see vlogs. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you said So yeah, if you guys would like to see vlogs of us going and hanging out, and I think Manny was going to join too, uh, let us know in the comment section below. All right, we've arrived at West Shore Auto Center, and I think Benjamin Buttons. In here, Ben. Hello. But don't hit the. I think he just wants us to pull her straight on in. I can't see anything because I got sunglasses. I think on. he's ready for you. Yeah. He's ready to rock. What's up, bud? Hi. Welcome to Rockport Auto Center. <laughs> Did you hear us coming? Yes. <laughs> I heard you guys from like over there somewhere. <laughs> it sounds so good. Oh God, Jared. See, it doesn't crackle if I go, I have to just. Under three. Okay, I think we've all heard enough. <laughs> All right, so why are we here? What are we doing? We actually are replacing our stock steering wheel. So this bad boy is gonna be no more. Get a good last look at it. The leather with the red stitching is gone. So today. I love the stock. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Listen, you I know, like you, you, I don't know what the you never want to modify anything. Like. And when we do modify it, you're always like, you're right, this is better. No. Just trust Jer Bear. Not always just true. trust Jer Bear. All right, Benjamin, you wanna do the honors? He's got his gloves on. Look how professional he is. I feel so professional. If you're going to make now. someone rock hard, you got to have gloves on, right? <laughs> All right, so here she is. Probably. Yeah, let's take, the, let's take the covers off. So this is from ASK Carbon, and um, they, gave, they uh, gave me a nice discount on this. And we decided to nice. go, does it? <laughs> we decided to go with 
matte carbon with red stitching and Alcantara on the handles. Look at that. Holy crap. Right, let's see. So these should just be plug and play and it's gonna look a lot better. I hope so. Whenever we put like the Lamborghini, what is it called? Uh, airbag, airbag and stuff in, yeah. yeah. So we also got it to retain the heating functionality of the steering wheel. So this steering wheel will have heating, and, well heating. Um, it'll use the factory paddles and then the factory airbag and all the other factory buttons. So look at that. Look how freaking disgusting that thing is. Should be lighter too. Um, do we transfer over the factory? Uh, okay, cool. Look at that. Yeah, so here, let me, let me hold this bad boy. Teens, how's it, how's it feel? You wanna feel it? I love Alcantara because it feels like a race car. I'm and, not a fan of Alcantara. And also, of course, of course not. <laughs> We're opposite. This, will <laughs> this make is us what work. she does. This will make us work. The reason why I went with matte carbon, you might say, gee, well, all the carbon on the car is glossy. Yes, on the outside it's glossy. But we're gonna be replacing all of the silver pieces that you see in here with matte carbon because I don't want glossy pieces on inside of the car because you get reflections from the sun and stuff, and then you can't see when you're driving. So all the, the interior carbon is gonna be matte carbon, all the exterior carbon is going to be glossy carbon. So now it's, it's up to Benjamin locked. Buttons, huh? This, I was making sure I was staying where I wasn't lost. What, how, how was this process? Have you done a couple of these? Oh. <laughs> first, first Ura steering wheel? First Ura steering wheel. Alright, we're, we're popping his Ura steering wheel cherry. So we were complaining about this piece here and we thought that you replaced the other logo I onto we. there. I knew that it was Just a Christina sticker. was complaining, look. Oh yeah. Oh. Look at how cool that looks. I'll leave it on there so, so when you're installing it. So Teens is saying she thinks glossy carbon would have looked better, but I like the matte carbon. I love carbon regardless, yeah. but it, this just feels unfinished. Like there should be a coat over it. I mean, I can show you. That's what, that's what gloss That's what is, matte is. That's what matte carbon is. Yeah. It's that right there. Okay. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section. Should we have gone glossy? Well, what, let's wait until it's installed. I'm What's up, Benjamin? What are you doing over there? Um, unhooking your battery. This is where the battery is? Yes. Huh. And why are you unhooking that so the... Um... So I don't blow the air back up. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Yes. We'll just hear this pop and Ben's head goes flying into the back seat. <laughs> well, I just closed the door after he disconnected the battery, forgetting that the car is electronic, electronic door, door handles. And what did you say? We have to wait? Uh, we have to wait 10 to 15 minutes for the static to discharge from the airbag. So after so you just, disconnect the battery? We're going to go do Western Let's go check. Like <laughs> Let's go check out his steering wheel. I didn't know you have a carbon steering wheel. Oh, yeah, I got one in Florida. Oh, sweet. Let's go check it out. All right, this is Benjamin's new BMW M3. What engine does this have? The four liter V8. That's V8, yeah. Oh, look at you. Alcantara with the glossy carbon and performance. And that, the perforated leather solids. Yeah, that's actually smart because that's the part you're always touching, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't wear down. Yeah. Very nice. They were actually just down in uh, Florida as well. They went to uh, Orlando for a big ass. How was that car show? Yeah, it was fun. Was it, was it amazing? Yeah. They drove down and they said they're never gonna do it again. Never again. Because Christina and I were thinking about driving driving down uh, next time we go down because we might be going down to Miami for F1 in May. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking about driving down because we go down to hang out with Manny and stuff and work, but uh, they said no. And I did the drive in college for spring break. I remember it was brutal. Yeah, it's, dude, it, like going to Orlando is supposed to be like a 14 hour drive. It ends up turning into like a 17 hour yeah, drive. Yeah, stops and with, things. Like, stops, traffic, and traffic yeah. and everything else you have to deal with. Oh my God, it sucks. I don't like, know how 650 does it with the trailer. He drives down there all dude, the time by himself. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like bang, 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 bang. We have walkie talkies. Bang, 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 bang. So we were just oh, like, that's so cool. Yeah, we used to do that. at least fun, oh, right? Oh my god, I mean, you could have just got on a phone call too. That would also work. That's, that's, that's a lot of work. That's, that's true. And that loses my navigation music. and music. What are you coming around here and talk? All of a sudden, you have an opinion on things. Get out of here. All right. Well, they just busted out a camera. He's looking for, what are you looking for? Um, oh, that screw in there? Trying to fit, uh, there's not a screw. I it's, thought it was a Phillips head. No, so it's a clip. Oh, it's a, oh. Uh, my yep, camera just died. That's fine. Damn it. I was just trying to figure it out. Okay. So there's two screws, <clears throat> one on either side of the steering wheel. You have to rotate the steering wheel to get, oops, to get to this little thing. And then you stick a screwdriver in there and you have to pry the clip a certain way. And, and that what, that allows you to pop this off? pops the airbag. Like oh my off. gosh. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Ben reached in there and got the clips unhooked. Is that all it is? It should just pull off now? Uh, I gotta go back just, to the just, other side. Just don't pop that airbag. He could be the father. For the love of God. Look at him. But he thinks that the father... <laughs> Turn these big ass wheels with, yeah. without power steering. That's how, it, that's how it used to be in the old days. All right, so he got the um, airbag off, the horn in the airbag. Now uh, you can see underneath here, he just disconnected the airbag. That's good, right? 
Yep. So now that can't function anymore? Exactly. It can't blow your nose off? It can't blow me into smithereens. Okay, that's good. And then what are these other connectors? Uh, this Heated other grips connector? And stuff? This other connector else? I'm assuming is horn related. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Kind of hard to it's tell. connectors that are just yeah. associated with that. This is the main airbag connector. Yeah, okay. Look at that. And then this one just Pretty pops. cool. Never seen this stuff. And then how, we got to get these buttons off too, huh? These buttons and the um... yeah, all that's gonna have to come off the actual. Air okay. Bags. Ow, shit. Did you shock yourself or something? No, I stabbed myself with oh, the Jesus. thing. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. They loosened the uh, center bolt, and the wheel is off. Look at that. That's a weird sight right there, isn't it? Where's the Audi logo at? That's <laughs> somewhere, somewhere on there. So that's how you. Yes, that's the clock spring. Yeah, okay. Cool. So now we got to transfer over the paddle shifts and the um, yep. the buttons, the side buttons. Mm -hmm. All right, so everything was going smooth. The one thing we couldn't figure out, and it literally couldn't even find a video about it online, was how to remove this entire piece here, the button. Yeah, like, so we like we looked online, we couldn't find a single thing. So I mean, hey, if anybody needs to figure out how to take apart our steering wheel. Mm -hmm. So once you take, there is two plastic pieces that are separate. There's one that goes around the lower portion of the wheel, the one that goes around the upper. They're just kind of clipped in, so just be careful with them, use plastic trim tools. Uh, but in here, there's a little clip. You can see me kind of prying on it with my screwdriver, yeah. just oh, a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. So then you carefully go in here. This is crazy. And it that allows you to bring that whole yep. piece Yep, you can out. see it just kind of carefully see popped that? up. And then once I get it popped up on one side, go to the other side and do the then same you go thing. to the other side and you do That's the crazy. same thing. Okay, and that'll give us access to the paddles that as well. That gives us access to the actual bolts for the paddles, yep. All right, well, it's been two months since the last clip you just saw. Um, we ended up running into an issue with the steering wheel, one of the harness uh, plugs was not right. We had to wait to hear back from the manufacturer, and in the meantime, we had Ben put the tire steering wheel back together, the stock one, and put it back on the car. And then we just got busy, and we didn't have time to bring the car back over. So um, Ben got the steering wheel installed. We actually got our winter tires re replaced with the summer tires, and he did one other thing. Oh, uh, oil change as well. So we're going to pick up the car right now. Um, he said the steering wheel fits, works, everything's great there. He even retained the heated uh, steering wheel function, which we don't obviously need for summer but it'll be nice for winter. for winter um so the car's all ready to go so i'm excited to see how it looks they even washed it for us and we're back in business so let's go check it out all right we're back here at benjamin buttons west shore auto center aka rock hard auto center benjamin he texted he texted me about this wheel he said it was a nightmare to get it installed how many hours did it take you to put that wheel on it ended up taking me like six. Oh my god. Because, so and that's not even first, including the two hours of taking it apart the first time and putting it back on. So the, the first issue was it wasn't wired correctly for the heated steering wheel. Right. They uh, had the wrong connector. I mentioned that. Yeah, it was the wrong connector. So we had to splice so the stock I had to connector. Cut the connector. Yeah. Off the factory wheel. Yep. Splice it into the whole Which bricks that wheel. wheel. Yeah, now that wheel's useless. <laughs> you have a paper weight in the dark. Great. And then, um, you know, put the wheel, put the wheel all together. Put the, put the airbag on, um, put the wheel on, turn the ignition on, boom, horn going off. <laughs> Constant. It wouldn't stop going off. Here, come over here, let's show them. And, um, they also washed the car, it looks incredible. After that, it took me four hours of cutting foam on the inside of the wheel to get it to stop honking. Unbelievable. There was, there was too much, they overdid it with the foam. Do you they think used a factory, base plate uh -huh. but they use their own phone oh. and it was way too much problem okay so it just ended up being too much do you think that this was a a isolated incident or do you think all their wheels are like that because there's no way that all of them can be like that right i don't know they would get some pretty rough reviews i would imagine second one <laughs> yeah. okay. find out, so. so purchase these at your own risk yes uh he's got it installed now it does look incredible i have to admit i'm sure it does <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Uh -huh. um, the next thing we're gonna do is talk to InShane Designs, and I think we're gonna get all of these silver parts uh, either wrapped, matte carbon, satin carbon, or if we can get actual carbon pieces for these, we will. Um, but the only company I found so far only made them in glossy carbon, and they were $7,500, and they wanted the factory pieces, so I was like, mm -hmm. I think that's a bit absurd. So oil change is done, the summer tires are on, Brandon washed it for us, it looks incredible. So clean. I know. 
So, look at that steering wheel. What do you think, teens? Hopefully the horn doesn't start going off randomly. Our, did you see what they did to our tires? They wrapped them. I know. That's God, so they're fun. so professional here. It's ridiculous. Wow, it makes it so much sportier. It does. It's like it's a race car. Yeah. <laughs> It looks so I good. I wasn't really a fan, but having it on it in looks the car good, right? does look really good, I yeah. will admit. Thank you. Why? I still miss Please don't be like the people online that question everything I do, teens, and then always I say. Mean, I still like the original. And then every I'm time. Wrong I'm with questioning. The original. <laughs> you can. You can. We put this poor guy through torture. Um, I like it. I like it. I, I think you should wrap it up. Yes. Though. I think that's what we're going to do next. This sticks out like a sword, though. Sweet. Well, uh, let's go pay this man. Pay him. Pay that man his money. Let me know what movie that's from in the comment section below. No one knows. Does nobody know? No, no one knows that quote? I don't know. Pay him the money. Pay him. Check, check, check. No. Rounders. Never Matt, heard Matt of Damon, it. poker movie. It's amazing. It's old. I'm Watch it if old. you haven't. It is. You're old. It's, a, it's an early 2000s movie. <laughs> Look at all movie. these grays. Would be my guess. <laughs> Look at these two beauties parked up together. It's funny because the Earth looks small compared to other SUVs, but then when you see it next to my R8, it looks massive. <laughs> That's how small the R8 is. But we just arrived to LA Fitness. This is our local gym here in Camp Hill. I'm gonna hit a back and biceps workout and she's probably gonna do legs or cardio. Teens, how's the steering wheel feel? Like actually driving the car? Fine. Doesn't it feel better? I thought it felt better than the stock one. It's thick. I don't know if it's thicker or Thick boy? Thick. It is a little bit thicker. It's uh, a lot of guitar is weird to get used to. Uh huh. Cause that's where I place my hands. It's race car. But it's nice. I thought it felt really good. It looks cool. Yeah, we'll get used to it. It does yeah, look really good. Yeah, it'll take some time. So we're gonna. What are you training today? Oh, uh, what's today? Hump day. Uh -huh. Hump Wednesday. Day, you know what it is. Leg Legs. day. What I tell you? That was my guess. <laughs> so we're gonna hit up a leg workout and then maybe grab some lunch and go home. Nate's got a uh, game tonight. I have to take Jack to the vet because he oh, got attacked right. by something. Yeah, another one of our strays got attacked, so we got to go. That's all I'm doing is every week I uh, basically live in the vet taking care of all these Pretty cats. Pretty much. They just keep getting <laughs> into fights, myself. doing God knows myself. what. Yeah. All right. Workout is done. Just like that. Do you notice any difference? I'm skinny. I, I My workout routine has been shit. You need sun. In the winter time here, it's really tough because it's cloudy and shitty and Zero depressing. Motivation. Yeah, honestly, it gets really hard. And yeah. and then spring came and it was raining every day. That's why I really haven't done any Zero vlogs. Motivation. I just haven't, we haven't been doing anything. We were just sitting inside, really. Video games. Yeah, playing video games. So, um, that's it for the workout. I think we're gonna go find some food and then go from there. For some reason, Christina wants to eat at Friendly's. There's, there's a reason for that, Christina. I check it off the bucket list. I haven't ate here in 20 years much. since I was a kid. Good. The only reason she wants to eat here is because they have desserts. Let's be real. No, I just want to see. You're not getting ice cream today? No. That's weird. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I got to show you guys some of these items. Look at this. <laughs> Doritos Cool Ranch Chopped Cheeseburger. Cheese Skirt Burger. Never seen that before in my life. Look at all. This is the only reason Christina's here. Look at the size of these sundaes. While I'm here, it, you are try some of insane. these. Insane. It's worth the How try, big guys. these are. This is lunch right now. They're all like a thousand plus calories. Well, we're sprinting, sprinting, splitting something. Yes, we are. And getting a dessert to try. Oh, God. Because knowing you, we'll never be back here again. No, we won't. I want to leave right now. I don't know why this lunch looks so sad when it's split up onto two plates. What I do we end up don't getting? Need it's a uh, turkey BLT, but turkey I don't need bacon, so you can BLT. have my bacon. I'll take your bacon with fries, and we split it. We split meals all the time. It saves us money, and it keeps our figures in check. <laughs> also, Jared wasn't hungry, so. That's true, <laughs> I'm never hungry. All right, you guys ready for this? <laughs> I did not think it was gonna be big, Look, big. that's in relation to Christina. Do you have the right containers down there? Oh my God, I just, you know, like, I just thought it was small. I thought this was a small place. How does that look small to you? I just Look at the size of the things behind it. That's why I thought it'd be small, because those things are huge. So I just thought this would be like half the size. Well, Try I'm not bite. eating all of it, but. Yes, you are. There's unfortunately peanut butter there on There goes her OnlyFans page. I'm not a fan Subscribe of peanut Subscribe all you can. <laughs> I'm not a fan of peanut butter, but we'll see if I can get some without it. Honestly, I don't like any of the sauce stuff. I should have just done. Just vanilla ice cream. Just vanilla and brownie. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what she thinks. Is it good? Good, yeah. Yeah? Take a wrong sweets. That's the way to a woman's heart. Sugar. Laughter and sweets. Sure. Yep. Look at her. Oh, now she's pulling it over. 
<laughs> it's about to get serious, guys. There, there it is. All right, we have arrived back home. The earth looks so good when it's clean. Holy crap. So we gotta take it over to the detached garage and we gotta unload all the uh, winter tires. Ben said we're gonna need new, new um, summer tires and new winter tires probably by the end of this year. So that's not gonna be fun. Haven't really been very impressed with the Pirelli tire, tires as far as how long they've held up. These tires probably only have 6,000 miles on them so the fact that they're like getting close to being worn out kind of seems a bit ridiculous to me. Um, we'll probably swap over to Michelin's, which is what we're running on all of our other cars. So what was your final, um, what was your final, what's it called, on Friendly's? I like it. I mean, I don't know. I know it's not like the best quality, but I like diners. I like that vibe. I it's like kind of like a, um, desserts are good. Denny, like a Denny's. Like a Denny's. Yeah. It's just, I don't know, it's something fun to do. It's yeah. cheap. We put the GTR in here because uh, oh, Christina's bikes and my bike are in the other garage because we just wanted to look at them every day. We're never really in this garage that much. So I'm gonna give her a hand Actually, while I'm probably gonna, gonna, gonna do all, all of these. And then we gotta take the trash cans down and then I wanna show you an issue we found in the backyard the that we're working on. Yeah, you know what I mean. All right. Look who I found. Jackie boy and Aura. Hi, Jack Jack. <laughs> these cats, dude. The bush has just exploded. It's crazy. Our trees are running up the driveway, have all these beautiful flowers on them. Um, another thing I gotta do, because we're not supposed to get rain, the only day we're supposed to get rain in the next 10 days is the War Horse open house, which is this Saturday. Um, I'll give you more details on that in a second. So I gotta turn on our, that should be it. We already have it set from last year. I have it set to run Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So four days a week. The entire yard gets um, watered, and I forget how many gallons they said it. It, it um, it's something crazy. It was like a few hundred thousand gallons of water um, every night when it runs. But we have a whole separate well for that. That's pretty much unlimited amounts of water, and then we have another well for the house too. So we have pretty much unlimited Can you water. Turn on these outdoor lights. But, by accident, I might have just turned those on. Time yeah, been left on. I was gonna tell them something. Oh, open house at Warhorse this Saturday, um, May 13th. It's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We will be bringing bikes if it doesn't rain. If it rains, we'll probably drive cars over. Either way, we're gonna be there. So uh, I hope to see you guys there. People literally, that's probably the biggest comment I get from people is. Um, they want to meet us and hang out and everything else. Jack is hilarious. Uh -huh. And then look at this. <laughs> They're chasing each other. So we had some problems with leaks. Can you open that? Can't do one the pool's open, which is super nice. Um, the water's slowly heating up, which is rad. We've had water with leak in our basement and we have a big bucket down there and when we get a lot of rain it leaks only usually only if we get a lot of rain but i mean it's enough to like fill up a big ass bucket so dotto came over to take a look at what was going on ended up digging out a bunch of dirt and look what he found sorry look at this so the speaker wire from this runs down into the basement and through a pipe through a pipe there was a red cup on it it was never sealed anywhere there, there were two red solo cups that were yeah. cut out just so that a wire can go through ridiculous four million dollar house we got red cup solo cups to plug holes but that that wasn't even one that was leaking the one that was leaking was actually this one way over there it was a red pipe so now we gotta follow this here. yeah we gotta follow the speaker wire find this red um pipe and then seal it or replace it or I don't know, Dada said he had an idea of what he was gonna do, but we're finally getting some beautiful weather. We also had, it was leaking under our porch, so we had to go up on the roof and find out what was going on up there. We did find one shingle that looked like it was raised, so Dada sealed that. Hopefully that was all the, that it was, but we're gonna have to check next time that it rains. It's just always something, man, when you own a house, it's a pain in the ass. Okay, but, we got work to do, other work to do outside of YouTube. So that's gonna do it for this one. A bit of a laid back, casual vlog. I plan on doing more in the future. It's just the bike builds take up a lot more time than I think people realize. Um, 
but it's also been shitty and cold so this is like our first nice weather and then of course you have all this house stuff to deal with and everything else so it's been a lot yeah he's over there rolling around like an idiot so um that's it i hope to see you guys at the warhorse open house this saturday if you watched it on the first couple days that it came out otherwise we're going to be doing picking up my bike my lamborghini street fighter ducati new york city new york. hopefully in june or july so stay tuned for that new the york. best place to keep up with all that stuff is on instagram so just follow me at jared campisi and christina at a little we also got her tiktok back thank the lord they verified her tiktok does not violate community guidelines for the third time so hopefully they stop removing that freaking page that would be really nice um and that's it so thank you guys so much for following if you enjoy these types of videos let us know in the comment section below uh give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it uh subscribe for more and we'll see you all in the next one Peace.